Guys, this is Mubeen. How are you doing? We'll continue our discussion with cholelithiasis. Today, we'll talk about the clinical features of cholelithiasis or the gallstones. So, first of all, consider this that the clinical features basically occur when a gallstone gets stuck and obstructs a gallbladder or it gets stuck, a smaller bile gallstone gets into the bile tree and gets stuck somewhere down. That obstruction or the irritation by the stones causes inflammation and the pain. Now the pain can be of two types. One is chronic pain where the patient has just episodic or constant upper right quadrant discomfort or pain, but it never becomes so, so excruciating, so severe that they go out and get some help. On the other hand, acute cholelithiasis can cause severe colicky or constant pain. That pain can be associated with fever, with nausea, with vomiting. And the Murphy sign is positive. So what is Murphy sign? I'm going to get up and show you what Murphy sign is. Murphy sign is that when you curl your finger, when you palpate the right upper quadrant during an inspiration and the patient stops their breathing or the winces or they, they make faces like this that they are feeling pain. So what happens is you curl your finger on the right costal margins and you ask the patient to inspire and as they are taking a deep breath you palpate and what happens is the patient feels pain. This is one way to do that and then you can also do the indirect fist percussion in which what you do is you you put your hand on the left upper quadrant and then you do a fist percussion then you do the same on the right upper quadrant and then you ask the patient in the difference of the amount of pain. Both of those can actually tell you if the gallbladder inflammation is present. Now, in the acute cholecystitis, this may also be that there is presence of Bovaret or Merizi syndrome. What that is, is that a smaller bile stone that, gets, that travels down the biliary tree and gets stuck near the pylorus or upper duodenum. There can also be gallbladder ileus where a larger stone from the gallbladder gets into the iliac loop nearby and obstructs that or inflames that or irritates that. So these are the clinical features. Now uh, the next step we'll do is the risk factors. What causes the inflammations? What causes the flare-ups of this uh, situation? So tomorrow we'll talk about that. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible, share it with your friends as well.